Guys, we got Yeezys, Travis Scott's, Jordans, and a ton more. March is shaping up to be quite an insane month. By far the best this year so far. You know what we're doing? We're going over the top 10 most hyped sneakers dropping in March. Coming in at number 10 is the Jordan 1 Dusted Clay. Now, even though this pair of ones definitely strays away from the traditional, you know, it's not kind of traditional materials, traditional color blocking. If you wanted something a little bit different, you wanted some pretty decent materials, it's covered in all over suede. And and just overall a very nice colorway, I think this is a solid option. It reminded me a lot of the medium curry dunks. I think this all over mix of earthy tones does actually look pretty solid on a pair of ones. These could be dropping on the 6th of March. Despite the original rumor of this coming in woman sizing, that is not the case. There's a full size run of these things so anybody can grab them. They do also look like they're trying to make these slightly more premium, like you get a dust bag included, which is pretty unheard of with a pair of ones. You get multiple different lace options and even a little sweat hang tag because why not? Coming in at number 9 is the Nike SB Dunk Low Race Allele. These are going to be dropping on the 7th of March, and we actually already took a look at these on the channel, and it's not a bad pair of dunks. At least it's very different, because there's a lot of different materials added. If you didn't know who Race Allele was, she won the silver medal at the 2020 Olympics for skateboarding. So similar to Yuto Horigome, who got his own Nike SB Dunk, the Brazilian skateboarder, who is only 16, is also getting her own dunk. Now you definitely can see her age in this pair of shoes. Like, you got some super colorful Colorful smiley faces as the lace debris. And even though they kind of look like they would be plastic, they're actually metal. It's not a bad pair of dunks by any means. I think it's quite playful. And I actually don't mind the colorway either. Coming in at number eight is the Adidas AE1 Best of Addy or the Stormtrooper colorway. These are dropping tomorrow, as in March the 1st. And it's probably the most wearable colorway that they've released on the AE1 silhouette as of right now. I think my personal favorite colorway would have to be the one that changes color from like purple to green. That one is just insane. Uh, but this one is definitely a close second because it's just so wearable. Literally just all over white and black. And if you haven't caught any of my videos on the Adidas AE1, I think it's a phenomenal pair of shoes for the price tag. Now it is a performance basketball shoe, but very easily translates into a lifestyle model that is pretty comfortable considering it does have full length boost in the midsole. And I think it's clearly one of the coolest basketball sneaker designs that we've seen in a while from Adidas. Now pretty much every single colorway of this pair of shoes has sold out. I wouldn't just assume that these things are gonna hang about and they should be an easy pickup. Coming in at number seven on my list is uh, Fear of God and Adidas. We've got two sneakers as part of this collaboration that's gonna be dropping this month on March the 3rd. Now, they're both called Clay, so we've got an LA Runner sneaker, which is the one that I haven't tried out just yet, and I am quite keen to pick this colorway up. Then we've also got a Clay colorway of the Basketball One model. In my opinion, I think the Basketball model looked better in the black and white. That was perfectly fine. However, this Clay color on the LA Runner model, I think looks pretty good and it definitely fits in within that lifestyle range. Definitely one that I'm gonna try and pick up. Apparently, it's a decent, comfortable pair of shoes, but uh, we'll find out. Coming in at number six on the list is the brand new upcoming Nike Air Max DS. This is Nike's brand new flagship Air Max model that they're gonna be debuting on Air Max Day, which is March the 26th. Now, strangely enough, they did a little Supreme collaboration a couple days ago, which is something that I personally bought, and I've been testing these things out for a couple days. Review coming soon, so subscribe to check that out. And honestly, it's an interesting pair of shoes that I do have quite a few thoughts on. I will say I really like the look of these. I think they look futuristic. There's a lot of different material details. Apparently on release, there's going to be a bunch of different colorways to choose from. The launch one, the black with all of the purple air unit. We've also got an all over white colorway and a vault colorway as well. It's probably my favorite Air Max that I've seen from Nike in the past few years. So yeah, solid option. Coming in at number five, Yeezy. So if you caught yesterday's video, I spoke about uh, the highly controversial Yeezy release, which has people completely torn whether they are going to buy them or not. You've got some people who are still going to be buying these Adidas Yeezys, and you've got other people that are going to be boycotting them. I'm not going to get into it in today's video. If you want to check out the full in-depth details on everything you need to know about this situation, check out yesterday's video. I'll put it up in the corner. Yes, in short, Adidas is dropping older Yeezy models this month in March. Different regions have kind of loaded up different things. If you look at Adidas Hong Kong, 
long they've got a crazy amount of Yeezys already available like the 350 Zebras. I know of at least seven different models that are going to be dropping. We've got the Yeezy 500 Stone, which is going to be dropping on the 11th. Yeezy Slide Salt dropping on the 13th. The MX Granite Foam Runner on the 15th. The Dark Onyx colorway of the Yeezy Slide, even though it looks identical to the rest. This one is the darkest one that we've seen, and that's also going to be dropping on the 15th. The Yeezy 500 Stone Taupe on the 18th. Granite Foam Runners on the 20th. And Granite Slides on the 21st. Other potential releases could happen. You're just going to have to wait and see if there's any more updates. Uh, another one that is expected to drop this month is the Tactical Boot in the Sand colorway, and we don't have a specific release date on that, but just, yeah, it, it apparently is going to be dropping. Coming in at number four is the Nike Air Max 186 Sport Royal. So it looks like Air Max Day is going to be giving us something old and something new because these are also dropping on the 26th of March. And it's pretty much the Air Max 1 big bubble that we got, was it yeah, last year or the year before that? The, the red colorway, except now it's in all over blue. I've got to be honest, I might prefer this blue color. I know that the other one is the original and it, it is obviously got a lot of heritage with the Air Max silhouette. I think I would take blue. As per usual, before we hop into the top three most hype sneakers let's get into some honorable mentions which uh, i still wanted to throw in here first one is the J -J 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 adidas samba those are going to be dropping on the 27th of march another amama in your airship is also going to be dropping in march on the 23rd and then finally we got the awake new york airship which is going to be dropping on the 9th that one's probably my favorite out of these honorable mentions the awake new york airship has a decent amount of details and looks pretty clean all right top three territory this is where things heat up and let's kick it off with number three the jordan 4 sale so these are going to be dropping on March the 9th. They're already loaded up to the Nike sneakers app. And essentially, this is a really, really nice colorway. However, it does have some drawbacks. The first one being is that it's only going to come in woman sizing. So it's not going to be extended. Some people will not be able to fit these. And the other thing, or at least in my opinion, is the gold lace aglets. Not the biggest fan of shiny gold on this sneaker. Now, thankfully, that is the only elements of gold on the pair of shoes, at least on the outside. So my plan is to pick these things up and sand down or sand off this gold color or paint over it, one of those. And then I'm gonna have a clean, slightly more premium pair of Jordan 4s just in all over sale. I know that it's not the most exciting colorway of the Jordan 4, but it looks like they kind of made the leather a little bit better. Instead of having plastic for the wings on the outside, you've got all over leather. Jumpman logo is now pressed into the tongue instead of having the tongue tag, which is something that I think actually looks pretty clean. I'm gonna get these things in. I will drop a review and hey, if you wanna see me get rid of the gold let me know down in the comments coming in at number two is the trophy room jordan one low better or for worse we're getting another pair of ones from trophy room i know that they have a pretty controversial past with previous jordan ones so i guess let's just cross our fingers with this next one there is going to be two colorways though which uh slightly gets my hopes up that at least one of them might be a little bit more accessible so the home colorway is going to be an in-store exclusive to trophy room that has the white nike swoosh the away colorway which is the one that we took a look at on this channel. If you want to check that out, I'll link it down in the description. That's going to be more widely available and releasing on March the 21st. Overall, it's actually not a bad pair of shoes by any means, and I quite like them. And coming in at number one, of course, my man Travis Scott with his brand new signature sneaker, the Jumpman Jack. So yes, after an insanely limited release on the Travis Scott's website during Grammy night, which literally had a couple hundred pairs and spiked the resale value up to something mind-blowing, they're finally going to be dropping this month in March on the 5th. Now again, another pair of shoes that we've taken a look at on the channel if you want to see a full review down in the description. I do have a lot of thoughts about this pair of shoes. It's uh, it's actually something that I truly believe will grow on people. I know anything new, especially when it comes to Jordan brand, people are definitely hesitant. And I think this is probably one of the nicer colorways that we've seen, at least from what Travis Scott has worn. Now, the painful part about this pair of shoes is the retail price of $200, but that's probably not even something you should be worried about, actually, because the resale on these is probably still going to be like triple that. As of right now, it seems like people are pretty split on this pair of shoes. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I'd love to know your thoughts on it down in the comment section. If you want to find out if Adidas is actually selling fake Yeezys, click on that video over there. 